Hey everyone, welcome to OrganicAuthority.com TV, the internet's number one eco chic cooking show where everything is absolutely delicious and organic. No dull, boring tasting food allowed, and I promise you. So today we have a special guest with us. We have Jennifer Elise Cox here. Not only is she beautiful, oh, but she is smart. <laughs> she is absolutely hilarious. She is best known for her role as Jan Brady in the Brady Bunch movies, and that'll make you laugh. Absolutely. And she's also done numerous television and movie roles, like appearing in Fear and Loathing Las Vegas, CSI Miami, Nip Tuck and more. And you know what? I'm so impressed too. You've been in operas in, oh my gosh, Madame Butterfly oh and Don Giovanni. Oh my God, you've done your research. Well, I have to say, I mean, I'm really you. impressed because I've seen those operas and that's not an easy task. So anyway, Jennifer, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here and I'm a total neophyte. I'm not really a good cook, so I really admire you. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. So today we're making a super easy appetizer and I promise you, you can really make this under 10 to 15 minutes flat. All right, so what we're making is prosciutto wrapped medjool dates that are stuffed with fresh goat cheese and herbs, and it is absolutely delish. Yum. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got about 20 medjool dates, and I picked these up at our local farmer's markets, and we already started actually taking out the seeds. So, Jennifer, let's go ahead and start taking out the seeds. So, okay. you just want to take your knife okay. and just run it down until you can feel the seed. And you just want to cut it in half like that and use your thumbs to open up the date and pull it out. And it's that easy. It is easy because I can do it. Yes. <laughs> so and everyone will be able to do it. It's so true. It's so true. All right. And um, I think we just have one more here. And we're going to just open this up pull it out. And next we're going to chop up some fresh herbs. We've got some marjoram, cool. which is awesome. Yeah. Are you familiar with marjoram? No, I'm not. Okay. Please tell me about it. Marjoram is like oregano. You know, it's very mm. similar. It's like an okay. Italian, um, Italian uh, herb that's really, really nice. And what you can do is, it's really simple. You can just run your finger along the stem like that mm -hmm. to pull off the herbs. So Jennifer, so yes. what have you been working on these days? Well, it's interesting that we're making these because I was thinking these would be perfect for my poker night. Yes. I've been, I'm becoming a celebrity poker player. I'm doing a pro. This? This I'm going to be in the world on the world poker tour. This is amazing. So I've been hosting these poker nights at my house, and I've been cleaning everybody out. So I feel like at least I should serve them <laughs> some a meal, right? You gotta serve them food, and I'm just giving them pretzels and and soggy chips. But oh like, at least like I can show up with one of your recipes, and at least you know they won't feel like they totally got robbed. Right? Oh, absolutely. And uh, you know, I mean, maybe with a full stomach, they're not going to be quite as upset. I know. I'm so good. They do. It's so funny. But um, I've been doing that. I'm also I'm in a movie with Jennifer Lopez that comes out April 16th. It's called awesome. The Backup Plan. The Backup Plan. Everyone, please go see. April 16th. Please. So mark your calendars. The Backup Plan. Yeah, it's the day after taxes. Oh, my oy, God. Oy, oy, oy. So, now, is this another comedy? Is it a drama? It's a romantic comedy, and um, it's very funny. Is it? And she was a lot of fun. Really? Oh, my God. I loved her. And by the way, if you can't tell, Jennifer is really funny. Oh, you are. You. you are. You All are. right. You're freaking hysterical. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, so we're going to chop up these herbs okay. into about two tablespoons, and I'm just going to run my knife through here. And it smells incredible. Oh, good, it good, good. Fresh. Now, when you chop herbs, you don't want to, like, macerate them. You know, so many people, they just... Just 
top them until they're super fine and you actually start to damage and ruin the herbs. That makes sense. Yeah, I like to keep it really loose and we've got a little more than two tablespoons here, but we're just going to use about two tablespoons. We're just going to stir in these herbs right here and why don't you start stirring okay. and I'm going to sprinkle in a little salt and pepper. And the little salt and pepper is just to help bring out the flavors, the natural flavors of the herbs. And of course, the yummy goat cheese. And this goat cheese is made by a family up in Sonoma, and they've got like 50 to 100 goats, and each goat has their own name. Isn't that incredible? I love that. Jennifer has nicely stirred the goat cheese, and we've got our fresh herbs in there. So let's just take our spoon and just put some goat cheese in these dates, and then what we're going to do is wrap these guys in prosciutto. And so I've cut the prosciutto kind of in long strips, and we're just going to wrap it around like so. And we're going to secure it with the toothpick. Now, I've soaked these toothpicks in water for about 10 minutes because you don't want them to catch on fire because they're going to go in the oven <laughs> underneath the broiler. <laughs> so, uh, so that is definitely a good tip. So, Jennifer. Fine. What's the plot line of the backup plan? Well, it's about a woman who, who's like in her late 30s who hasn't found the right guy, so she does in vitro. Hence okay. the backup plan. Hence know. the backup plan. You know, it's what, you know, we're all of us ladies are going through right now. <laughs> but um, it's very funny. It's very funny. But on the day that she does it, she meets the man of her dreams. Oh, really? But then, like, when you're dating a guy, you don't want to tell him right away that you're pregnant. That's right. That's kind of, you know. So I want to hear more about the poker tournament. Oh. I'm so excited. I started playing poker when I was four years old. My father taught me how to play. I come from an Irish family uh -huh. where unfortunately gambling and alcoholism run deep. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in your blood. <laughs> it's in my blood. And so I've really always enjoyed playing poker and you know when I've been struggling in this business I've used poker as a way to supplement my income. Nice. So then I was just kind of like hey I'd love to you know, become a celebrity player, mm -hmm. so then I can get involved with all these charity events. There's some amazing. wonderful events where, you know, you can raise a lot of money for charity. All right, you guys, we're going to be right back, and uh, we're going to finish stuffing these dates, and they're going to go in the oven. All right, you guys, so we've pulled these out of the oven, and we've let them cool for just a few minutes because you don't want to eat them too hot. Mm. So they were in there for about four minutes, and you can see these guys came out really nice, and a couple of them got a little brown. Some of you may like this. They're a little, con they're a little crunchy, but two tips you just want to watch out for is you don't want them in too long because the cheese could just run out and you have no cheese left in your beautifully wrapped day. No. And I've made that no mistake. Cheese. Yeah. So, um, and they may get a little too crispy unless you like them like that. So, but let's give it a try. Yummy. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. That is so freaking good. That oh is my God. really good. And by the way, you should serve these warm. Mm. Because they're best when they're warm. When they get cold, they're still really good or room temperature, but this is the best way to eat them right out of the oven after they've cooled just a bit. The combination of different flavors, the cheese and the di oh, to yeah. freak out. So good. <laughs> All right, oh. you guys. Denver, thanks so much. Thank for you. Coming. Thank you so, so much. much. I'm fun. such a big fan of your show. Oh, thank you. All right, you guys, if you have any questions, email me at laura at organicauthority.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.